second I, I need to get my story straight My friends are in the bathroom getting higher than the Empire State My lover, she's waiting for me just across the bar My seat's been taken by some sunglasses Asking about a scar and I know I gave what? Three months ago Subtle things, the holes in my apology. You know, I'm trying yeah, hard to yeah, take yeah. it back. So if I time the bar closes and I feel like falling down, I'll come with you home. I'm gonna record a regular day of high school. Now, what is this the equation of? A circle with a radius of one. one. What's different with a ellipse? It's not a circle. Not a circle. <laughs> They're unequal distances, right? Yeah. Okay, so that's what we gotta account for. That's the big difference here. So I've got something dividing on my x and something dividing on my y. Which is the major axis? Let me come back. Do something really fun like this. A chart bait. Walter. The camera's not pointed to me. I don't got it. It doesn't. Oh. <laughs> Should we delete that part? <laughs> What would happen if I took this ellipse and translated it maybe to the right and to the up? To the up. <laughs> this class is about, well this is AP Human Geography, AP, keep it on AP, college level class. <laughs> And it's about how geography relates with human interaction and culture. Neural, explain! Neural, <laughs> <laughs> No! <laughs> okay, okay. It's not the bad guy you think he is. He's misunderstood. Okay. I, I agree with you on that. Like, kind of. <laughs> People who wanted to have it served up for dinner said, well, it doesn't have a nervous system, it doesn't have, really, they didn't say conscious life, but it doesn't know what's going on, so what's the big deal? You kill a plant, kill a lobster, and serve it up. So I was just wondering if y'all had any thoughts on that. <laughs> you need to ask, talk to your biology teachers. I like that phrase, conscious life. There's life. And then there's life that knows it exists, you know? And I'm just wondering about that. And, you know, you think like certain animals, cats are something I've often heard about, that cats have a conscious life because when they sense when they're going to die, they oftentimes wander off somewhere to be alone to do that. I've read that often about cats. I don't know if anybody's a cat expert. <coughs> yes? Like, there has to be like a small amount because they move around in like where they need to go. They don't move around just like in random places. Yeah, and like even with birds, yeah. they have nest and eggs, so they're conscious of yeah, life. But they tend to it and protect it. Yeah. Um, I had birds nest recently. And, 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 and so forth. So I just like that phrase. So animists believe that even inanimate objects have a conscious life. They're aware of their existence. This one particularly jumps out, yeah. Rocks have an animal life. So basically, I think what's going on here is that you should respect your surroundings. And that's what animals believe. I mean, and to a woman later.
like we talked about, like you did with the Kool-Aid, you mass out a certain amount of the Kool-Aid and then you put it in your container and you bring it up to whatever volume of solution you want. And the solute takes up part of the volume. Okay, so we say liters of solution. But molality, we take a certain amount of the solute and add a certain amount of the solvent and we don't, we're not concerned with the total volume of the solution. Okay, and so the problems will be worded differently. You'll just have so many grams of potassium chloride or whatever compound we're using with so many milliliters of water or kilograms of water or grams of water. You'll say water as a solvent instead of the solution. time the bar closes and you feel like falling down I'll carry you home tonight
Zach, new beatbox. <laughs> 